Can AI help ensure that you find buyers for your cool new idea? Absolutely. I've run a marketing agency for the past 10 years, working with some of the largest software companies in the world and helping some early stage startups reach unicorn status. By the end of this video, you're gonna have a killer go-to-market strategy that used to cost over $50,000. And we're gonna use AI every step of the way. Here's what we're gonna get into today. Part one of the video is product market fit, where we're gonna look into research that goes into your customer, your competition, your industry, and yourself. Then we're gonna move on to part two, your go-to-market strategy, where we're gonna combine all of that together and come up with all sorts of strategies and insights that can help you win. And by the end of the video, I'm going to show you how to pull all that quickly into a deck. Let's get going. The tools we're going to use today are Perplexity, Notebook LM, and Claude, along with ChatGPT. I'm going to show you the best practices for all of these. And this is really a big picture focus video. So a lot of the videos I've created, a lot of the videos on AI that I see around there, are all focused down here on tactics, on SEO, on creating social media posts, but they are missing this massive big picture of all of the things that we need to be doing in order for those tactics to win. And that's exactly what this video is all about. If you're new to the Blazing Zebra channel, I wanna welcome you. Definitely thank you for joining me on my mission of helping everyone I can learn how to use these powerful new AI tools. I support this channel with Patreon. I've got a cheat sheet version of every video I've ever made. There was over 90 of them in there. They're all instantly available to anybody that supports me on Patreon. There's all sorts of links in the description. And speaking of cheat sheets, I'm going to jump into the cheat sheet for this video right now and pull a couple of these prompts so we can start doing some research on our audience. I'm going to grab this prompt here and I'm going to pull it into perplexity. If you're unfamiliar with perplexity AI, let me introduce you to your best new research partner. Perplexity AI goes out and searches the web, does about 50 or 60 different Google searches and combines the best of everything it finds into one big nice uh, result that has all the citations to everything that it has found. So I'm dropping this in. The example today is all about solar installation. I'm getting some solar installed in my place and I've been looking into these different businesses. So this is what we're focusing on today, looking for Pew Research Center reports or similar uh, that find demographic trends among homeowners interested in renewable energy solutions. Awesome, this has pulled in a ton of great resources here and you can click on these little links and they pull you directly to the source material. So what we're gonna do is grab all of this source material and now we're gonna go to our next handy tool, Notebook LM. So if you're unfamiliar with Notebook LM, let me show you how this works. You can just jump in here, create a new notebook. This is a notebook called that I've created just for this audience, Residential Solar Buyers. And then I'm adding in all of the sources that we found from our uh, perplexity searches. So right here on the left is this little plus button. You can click in, you can add a web page URL, which is what I'm gonna do right now. Add that in, insert that, and it shows up here. And there's a ton you can do. So you can see I've gone through now and added in all of the different source materials that I found in perplexity. And then I go down here to this little bottom right button, notebook guide, and I create this briefing document. This is killer. This is what that briefing document looks like. It shows you a summary of everything that was included in all of those different uh, sources that we pulled in from Perplexity. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing when it comes to competitors. I'm jumping back into the cheat sheet and I'm grabbing this prompt right here. I'm going to copy and paste this right into perplexity and grab some information about competitors and here are all of the competitors along with links that talk about each of those and i'm pulling all of those right into notebook lm here adding those links sometimes i've found some pdfs you can also upload pdfs you can copy and paste in text you can add all sorts of things here and i've gone ahead and created that briefing document that talks all about the advantages that these different uh, competitors have and now we can play around and do a lot inside of notebook LM with these different uh, documents so back in the cheat sheet I'm grabbing this prompt just to analyze what are the top three pain points from our customers and see what it pulls from this research when I add that in here we are in notebook LM and I've added that prompt in in notebook LM you're 
actually chatting with these sources only. So this is one of the beautiful things about this tool is that it's focused only on the sources that you put in here. That's not the case when it comes to ChatGPT and Claude, and there's a lot of confusion with the training material that's in there. You want it to really be focused exactly on what you've put in here, and that's why Notebook LM is so powerful. Look at all this great information about these pain points, costs, lack of information and understanding. And these are all cited here, so you can click on those citations and find exactly where that's coming from. One of the things that jumped out to me immediately when I was creating these briefing documents is that there are a lot more younger Republicans looking to install solar panels on their residents. So that jumped out at me pretty quickly. So I took that insight. I went over back into the competitors and I asked, do any of these companies specifically target young Republicans? It said, absolutely not. So right there in just a few minutes, we've uncovered some amazing stuff. I did a little bit more digging and found that none of these competitors are really focusing on this growing demographic. So now we are through the product market fit analysis. I've also grabbed some intel on the brand, a, a solar panel brand. You may wanna, if you work for a large company, you can use Perplexity to gather research on your brand, or you can just work with your subject matter experts, the leaders of your company, and come up with uh, you know information about you that you're gonna wanna put into this next phase as we roll out this go-to-market strategy. So for this go-to-market strategy, there's none better than Claude Projects. If you're unfamiliar, Claude AI is the most powerful large language model currently, and they offer a feature called Projects, which is very helpful because you can't write a full strategy really inside of Notebook LM like you can in Claude. So I've gone ahead and copied and pasted all of these briefing documents from the competitors and from the audience here in Notebook LM into this Claude project. Here it is there, very easy. Very easy to copy and paste that stuff in right here. I've also copied and pasted in some information about this theoretical company. This is a fictional company I'm using as this example so that we can build out these strategies. Now here's the important part. This is the set of instructions. This is just like a custom GPT, only oftentimes I find this works better than a custom GPT. And I've gone in here and just told it, hey, you're a highly trained business strategist that help a lot of companies find their product market fit and go to market strategies. And you can read the rest there. I also have this in the cheat sheet as well that you can just copy and paste. And now we have access to all of our briefing documents. Obviously you can put a lot more in here. You might wanna add some of those different trend reports, some of the other things that Perplexity pulled. But just with this alone, I was able to get pretty far. I'm simply asking it, given the documents you have access to, what are some compelling go-to-market strategies we might want to explore for SunTech Solutions? And it has hit on a lot of things. It all has also hit on that young Republicans. This was uh, something that I noticed and it pulled it up here as well. So now I think we've got a pretty good idea of a direction here and it's time to start pulling this deck together. So I simply, am, I'm in this same Claude project here with all that documentation. And I said, please summarize this uh, and make it a short, punchy, information-rich slide that includes one sentence and three bullets. And boom, it gathered up all of that information and pulled in, created this really beautiful little punchy summary that you can just copy and paste right into your document here if you wanna share this, if you need to get internal support, or this could be a proposal that you're doing, uh, you know, if you're working with a company. This could be also an analysis uh, for any VCs who are looking to understand their investments better. They can run through this process as well. So I've done that, grabbed everything for the audience, repeated the same exact prompt for the competition, and then a little bit for the uh, company itself. And then we had a big back and forth here. It seems that young Republicans are an underserved and growing uh, demographic here. Can we focus the strategy on that? And it goes to town, building out this strategy, getting into the market opportunity, strategic approach, and gives us a ton of information here that we can begin to build our go-to-market strategy around. And the important part is that we're building this strategy around solid research and not just a bunch of people guessing based on opinion. So here's our positioning slide. 
And here's what we've uncovered, that young Republicans are a fit for both SunTech, given its locations and its expertise, and that growing demographic. And it's also something that the competitors are not focusing on. So this is the area that we want to double down on. I asked Claude what might be some pithy slogans that would appeal to this group, and it came up with some amazing ideas. This one in particular struck me, energy independence and freedom. Particularly this slogan, energy independence starts at home. And you can see how that could be the beginning of all sorts of content, all sorts of PR, all sorts of web messaging and sales messaging. This is, you know, I think a way that this SunTech Solar could actually change and niche down their entire operation into this one particular area. And that's exactly what we want to do with this exercise. Find those untapped areas based on research that we can focus all of our marketing efforts on. So I worked with Claude to pull together a bunch of information here to fill out this final slide. And then I went on from there and just asked it, what are some different ways we can roll this campaign out? And it pulled together a complete campaign rollout, digital marketing, content marketing, public relations, community engagement, sales enablement, all this good stuff here. And this campaign rollout is based on a solid strategy, focusing on all this stuff here. So. Again, all the stuff I see out there, a lot of the conversations I have with using AI, it's all way down here. But if you use it for these bigger picture items, you're gonna have a lot more success with this stuff down here, let me tell you. So I've got all of this in the cheat sheet and a ton more. There are dozens and dozens of prompts for each of these sections. You can do a ton more inside of Notebook LM as you're tossing around those different ideas to come up with unique angles. Again, I've got the instructions for the uh, Claude project that helps you pull everything together in there. The other thing that I'm really excited about is this custom GPT I've built that will help you gather up perplexity prompts and Notebook LM prompts for your specific audience in your specific industry. Let me show you how this works. Hey there, can you help me find some perplexity prompts that might be good for the video game industry? For the video game industry, here are some perplexity AI prompts that could be helpful. One, audience research. Find recent Pew Research Center reports on gamer demographics and their attitudes towards monetization in video games. Locate the latest studies from research organizations on player behavior trends in the video game industry. Two, competitor research. Find recent articles from game industry blogs about major game studios market strategy. Awesome, so you can see how easy it is to interact with this custom GPT either in the app or the same way you would in a normal custom GPT and then you can copy and paste all of these prompts directly into whatever tool that you're using. All right, I hope you got something out of this video. I definitely put my heart into it. I hope this helps you and your product, your services and your business shine. If you got something out of this, please check out my Patreon. Again, there's a cheat sheet to this in every single video that I've ever created. There's over 90 in there now. All of those are immediately accessible to you. There are tons of custom GPTs in there and other tools. I've got some coaching options in there as well. And Please, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know how I can help in the comments. Drop something in there about your specific go-to-market strategy. I'd love to help. Otherwise, I will see you on the next video. Make the green screen.